So, you know how we often hear that the visible universe is this massive sphere stretching around 93, 94 billion light years across? It's like this big cosmic bubble we're all familiar with. But then comes the question that gets us all thinking. What's out there beyond this gigantic bubble? What lies beyond the edges of this vast expanse? Is there actually an edge to the universe, or is it infinite in extent? And when we ponder the shape of our universe, what form does it actually take? From early galaxies to observable horizons. In a groundbreaking 2023 Nature article, the James Webb Space Observatory revealed an astonishing find. Six celestial objects that challenge our understanding of the cosmos. These galaxies emerged a mere 600 million years after the Big Bang, defying conventional models and potentially doubling the universe's age to 26.7 billion years. This revelation prompts profound questions, pushing the boundaries of cosmological knowledge. Discussions about concepts like dark time have arisen, suggesting a potential crisis in our theoretical grasp of space. Moving from the concept of time lag to the observable boundaries of the universe, we find ourselves contemplating the genesis of our cosmic surroundings. When we peer into space, we're not glimpsing the universe's edge, but rather its theoretical birth. This is akin to observing a nearby person and seeing them as they were mere nanoseconds ago, or looking at distant stars like Betelgeuse and peering into a past potentially centuries old. The vastness of space becomes apparent as we consider the finite speed of light. Even as we observe objects hurtling toward us, like the Andromeda galaxy, their true distance remains obscured by this cosmic speed limit. Our observations are forever bound by the constraints of light, limiting our perception to the past. Yet beyond this temporal horizon lies another enigma, the observable universe's boundary. While it extends 46 billion light years, this isn't its true limit. Dark energy and the universe's rapid expansion enable us to transcend its chronological age, expanding our observational horizon to realms beyond comprehension. Time dilation and relativistic effects in accelerating spaceships. And as the spaceship accelerates towards the speed of light, a fascinating phenomenon called time dilation occurs, as predicted by Einstein's special theory of relativity. This means that time behaves differently for observers on the spaceship compared to those watching from afar. For the crew aboard the spaceship, everything would seem quite normal. They would experience a constant acceleration of 10 meters per second squared, which would create a sensation similar to Earth's gravity. In other words, their perception of time would remain consistent and they would feel as though time is passing at its usual rate. However, for observers outside the spaceship, things would appear very different. As the spaceship gains speed and approaches the speed of light, its perceived velocity from an external perspective starts to diminish. This is because, according to relativity, as an object moves faster and faster, its apparent speed relative to an observer decreases. Additionally, as the spaceship gets closer to the speed of light, the effect of time dilation becomes more pronounced. Time dilation means that time appears to pass more slowly for objects in motion relative to a stationary observer. So, from the viewpoint of someone watching the spaceship from a distance, the actions of the crew would appear to slow down. It's as if time is passing more slowly for them compared to the observer's own frame of reference. Interestingly, as the spaceship continues to accelerate, reaching higher fractions of the speed of light, the time dilation effect becomes increasingly significant. For instance, when the spaceship reaches around 90% of the speed of light, the time dilation effect is still relatively minor. However, as it gets even closer to the speed of light, the time dilation becomes much more pronounced, leading to a significant difference in the passage of time between the spaceship and the observer. Overall, this means that as the spaceship approaches the cosmic speed limit of light, time for those on board would continue to pass normally, while for external observers, the actions of the crew would appear to slow down significantly. For instance, on October 15, 1991, an enigmatic space particle dubbed Oh My God was detected. Its nature remains a mystery, but it earned its moniker due to its astonishing energy level, which equated to that of a baseball hurtling at a staggering speed of 93.6 km per hour. Consider the enormity of this, the energy of a single particle matching the force of a swiftly thrown baseball. This particle raced at a velocity representing an incredible percentage of the speed of light, specifically 79.9999%, surpassing this cosmic threshold multiple times over. Despite extensive study, 
scientists are still grappling with the enigma of what mechanisms propelled this particle to attain such extraordinary velocities. Consequences of Relativity and Cosmic Expansion Recent studies utilizing the Telescope Array project have proposed that the source of the enigmatic Oh My God particle lies within a 20-degree zone towards the Ursa Major constellation. However, the true identity of this source remains shrouded in mystery, evoking a sense of awe and trepidation. Remarkably, this particle experienced an extreme time dilation effect, slowing down time by a factor of 300 billion compared to a stationary observer. This means that while it would have taken approximately two and a half million years for a stationary observer to traverse from the Andromeda galaxy, the particle would have perceived this journey as lasting less than five minutes. This extraordinary divergence in perceived time underscores the profound implications of relativity. Furthermore, if a spaceship were to embark on a journey without return, surpassing the 8.3 billion light-year threshold, it would encounter an irreversible fate. Despite the absence of a physical boundary, the expansion of space would sever the causal link with the solar system. This phenomenon arises not from the spaceship exceeding the speed of light, but from the movement of space itself. Galaxies can recede from one another faster than the speed of light due to the expansion of the universe, rendering a return journey impossible. Moreover, contemplating the future expansion of our observable universe adds another layer of complexity. While our current visible horizon extends approximately 13.8 billion light-years, it is anticipated to expand to around 61 billion light-years. However, this expansion does not imply accessibility. Beyond a distance of 15 billion light-years, an estimated 66 billion galaxies lie, theoretically reachable if one were to travel at the speed of light. Yet, the vast expanse from 15 to 46 billion light-years encompasses approximately 2 trillion galaxies forever beyond our reach. Even with the ability to travel at the speed of light, these galaxies would remain forever frozen in time, an immutable testament to the limitations imposed by cosmic expansion and the enigmatic force of dark energy. A glimpse into the inaccessible cosmos. Galaxies situated between 46 to 61 billion light-years are presently invisible to us, awaiting the arrival of their ancient light to be witnessed by future generations. However, these galaxies, even with their eventual visibility, remain forever beyond our reach. Consider the case of Galaxy GNZ 11, one of the most remote galaxies known to us. Despite its visibility, the light it emits serves as a poignant farewell, destined to dwindle until it fades into obscurity. Positioned 32 billion light-years away, GNZ 11's light, emitted 13.4 billion years ago, serves as a testament to the relentless expansion of the universe. With GNZ 11 hurtling away from use at over twice the speed of light, its farewell photo marks a poignant reminder of our cosmic isolation. Yet, the disappearance of galaxies extends far beyond GNZ 11, encompassing over 96.7% of the galaxies observable today. Their emitted light, forever beyond our grasp, contributes to the overwhelming majority of what we will ever observe. While theoretically poised to witness trillions of galaxies, the vast majority, totaling billions, have already slipped into the abyss of cosmic obscurity. This existential dilemma exacerbates with time as tens of millions of stars vanish from our field of view every second. While their past light continues to grace our skies for eons, any new light generated remains forever beyond our reach. Yet it's crucial to remember that these stars and galaxies persist, albeit beyond the confines of our observational domain, serving as silent sentinels in the vast expanse of the unreachable cosmos. Empty Space As space expands, galaxies will eventually fade away, leaving behind an empty universe. Dark energy, the opposite of gravity, drives this expansion. The emptier space becomes, the stronger dark energy gets. This causes the universe to expand even faster, creating more empty space. If we were on a spaceship traveling at nearly the speed of light, time on board would pass normally. But outside, the universe would age rapidly. Eventually, the spaceship would be surrounded by darkness, with no other particles in sight. But what about the idea that the universe is flat? The Javelin argument, an ancient idea, suggests the universe is infinite. People have debated this for thousands of years, but there's still a lot we don't understand about the universe's boundaries.
Everyone knows that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, right? Well, not exactly. In the 19th century, mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss had a hunch that our three-dimensional space might have curvature. Imagine we lived on a spherical planet but as two-dimensional beings. Drawing small triangles on the ground would always give us 180 degrees, just like in flat space. But if we drew a huge triangle, the angles might add up to more than 180 degrees due to the curvature of our planet. Gauss secretly measured the angles of a triangle formed by three mountain peaks in Germany, suspecting curvature. Although the results were inconclusive, later experiments confirmed his intuition. In near-Earth space, the angles of large triangles can total slightly more than 180 degrees, affecting systems like GPS. This curvature hints at the shape of the universe. Just like the surface of the Earth, the universe might be closed, meaning if we travel far enough in any direction, we'd eventually return to where we started. Scientists have proposed 18 possible shapes or topologies for the universe. These include orientable and non-orientable forms. To understand orientability, Consider a Mobius strip, a twisted strip of paper with a surprising property. If you draw a circle around a point on the strip and follow it around, you'll end up on the opposite side with the direction reversed. Orientability and curvature. In geometry, trajectories that reverse orientation are termed orientation reversing paths. Surfaces with these paths are labeled non-orientable or one-sided, while those lacking such paths, like spheres and tori, are orientable or two-sided. If we consider our universe to be non-orientable, it implies some intriguing scenarios. Traveling along an orientation-reversing closed loop from Earth would lead us back home, but in a mirror image of our world. However, there's no evidence supporting this, and cosmologists believe such a universe would radiate energy from boundary zones where matter and antimatter interact, though this hasn't been observed. As for the curvature of the universe, measurements indicate local curvature near massive objects, but overall flatness on large scales. This supports the idea of a potentially infinite universe, leading to astonishing conclusions. Theoretical physicist Max Tegmark suggests that the number of possible particle combinations in our observable universe is around 1010, 1 to 18, an unimaginably vast number. Infinite universe. Now if we consider that the universe is infinite, then a straight line drawn from Earth in any direction would eventually intersect with an identical Earth, complete with the same observable universe and inhabitants. It's a mind-bending concept, surpassing even the complexities of a Mobius universe. But the implications of infinity don't end there. In an infinite universe, both time and space stretch out endlessly, leading to profound philosophical consequences. Picture this. Even in an empty universe, quantum fields never truly rest. These fields, subject to constant fluctuations due to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, can yield unimaginable events over unfathomable spans of time. Quantum physicists like Anthony Aguirre, Seenum Carroll, and Matthew C. Johnson have seriously considered the possibility of extraordinary events, such as a piano spontaneously materializing from quantum fluctuations. While it may sound absurd, the laws of physics suggest that given enough time and space, even the most improbable occurrences become inevitable. This notion is the crux of the horror of infinity. In an infinite universe, every event, no matter how improbable, will occur an infinite number of times. From the repetition of our universe to the recurrence of this very moment, the cycle of existence plays out endlessly. For many, the prospect of such infinite repetition is unsettling, prompting a preference for a closed universe free from the tyranny of boundless infinities.